Grumpy Monkey Party Time by Suzanne and Max Lang Hi, my name is Werner. I've been reading hundreds of books for you. Please subscribe to get them all. And watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Your mom can help you with that. Thank you. One perfectly pleasant afternoon, Chimpanzee found an invitation on his branch. You are invited to Porcupine's party. Party, said Jim. Hmm. It will be a great time, said Norman from next door. We can dance. Dance, Jim exclaimed, cutting Norman off. I can't dance. Can't dance? Everyone can dance, said Hyena. Come on, show us your moves. I don't have any moves, said Jim. Sure you do, said Hyena. You just need to try. So Jim tried to dance. You should have taken him at his word, Norman said to Hyena. If Jim doesn't know how to dance, said Oxpecker, we'll just have to teach him. Everyone was excited to teach Jim how to dance. You've got to feel the beat, the lizard said. You've got to strut your stuff, said Ostrich. You have to shake your butt, said the baboons. He's doing it, he's dancing, everyone cheered. Party time, said Norman, and they headed to Porcupine's party. At the party, everyone wanted to dance with Jim. Dance with us, said the ground squirrels. Can you shake a tail feather? asked Peacock. May we cut it? asked the warthogs. Me next, said Rhino. Jim danced and danced. Everyone on the dance floor was having a great time. Everyone except Jim. And then it got worse. Isn't this the best? chirped Oxpecker. No, Jim said, this is not the best. It's the worst. I don't like dancing. The other animals stared in amazement. Who ever heard of someone who doesn't like dancing? asks Oxpecker. Actually, said Water Buffalo, I don't like dancing either, but I never said anything because I thought I was the only one. I know others enjoy themselves, but I always feel silly on the dance floor. I'd rather do something else, squawked Marabou. To be honest, chimed in bed, dance floors are always too loud for my taste. I'm going home, Jim said, and he turned to go. 
and bumped smack into Norman. You are not leaving, are you? asked Porcupine. Everyone at this party wants to dance, said Jim, but we don't like dancing. It's not for everyone, Norman agreed. But now I'll have too much food, said Porcupine sadly. Oh, Porcupine, we didn't mean to upset you. Jim paused. Wait, there's food at this party? And indeed, there was lots of wonderful food. And plenty of games too. And so they stayed at the party. Jim enjoyed the wonderful food. He laughed with his friends. He even played a game or two. But he did not dance. It was a great time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Enjoy my new series Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.